Good morning, you guys. Happy Thursday. Gotta love a good Thursday. It's currently 9.45. I've actually had a very productive morning already, not gonna lie. Had a lot of emails to go through since I sort of took that half day yesterday. So I just started working like right at 8.30 and just sort of wrapped up all the stuff that I had to catch up on from yesterday. So I'm feeling really good about that. 9.45, already productive. That is the way to have a nice early day, which actually I'm going to need to do because I <laughs> have um, plans this afternoon at 4.15. So that, right now I remember that's why I got up and <laughs> took care of that right away. <laughs> so we actually have a good amount to do today for work. Then as I said, at 4.15, I have a little treat planned. I really planned this for myself, but then Tara was like, I'll come with you, so even better. I literally made a reservation for one. But <laughs> I noticed this outdoor patio near me was doing $15 for six oysters and an entire bottle of wine. So I was gonna go do that by myself, um, but Tara was like, let me come with you. So she's gonna come and help with the wine. Obviously she is not interested in the oysters, so even better, cause that's more oysters for moi. Very excited though, it's going to be a very fun time. Just a little treat for myself. I haven't had oysters in quite a while and I just couldn't resist this deal, so. But until then, there is quite a bit of work to be done here. I think what I'm gonna dive into next is editing a vlog and then we're gonna take it from there. Guys, I really messed up yesterday and got such a bad sunburn on my back. I literally don't even know how it happened. It was not hot out yesterday. I am so confused, but it's so bad. I'm actually really nervous about what's gonna happen. I'm so good too. I never, ever, ever get a sunburn. I gotta show you guys this. It's really, it is something else. Let me see, cause obviously I gotta like pull up my shirt. So how do I do this without flashing you? <laughs> Can you guys, guys, oh my God, I fucked up so badly. <laughs> oh no. Guys, that's gonna be a really big problem. I guarantee that peels. What am I gonna do? I'm supposed to go to the beach on Saturday. It's gonna be a nightmare. I'm gonna have to keep a shirt on the whole time for sure. <laughs> gonna be that bitch at the beach. <laughs> oh God, I'm scared. I'm really scared. Molly, it's that time of day. You're excited. I love how excited you get for this. It's so cute. Okay, here we go. Your favorite time. Oh yeah, how's that feel? Good? I just love how content she is. Are you happy in your sunny spot? Good girl. <laughs> Go ahead, sunbathe away, sister. I need to stay out of the sun after that sunburn. <laughs> Good girl. Okay, I just finished sort of getting ready, I mean. <laughs> I'm not dressed up or anything, but I am off to my oyster date and Tara's joining me to enjoy the wine with me. <laughs> the oysters are all mine though. <laughs> She's gonna be downstairs any minute, so I'm just going to head down there now. It's sort of warm for this sweater situation, but the sunburn on my back hurts, obviously. I just wanted something really nice and soft to sort of be nice on my back. I put something else on, it was like scratching and hurting it and I like couldn't, so. Gonna be living in comfy clothes as if that's anything new. <laughs> Delicious oysters. I am so excited for this. Definitely only ordered six, but I was gonna oh. go for the 12 anyway, so Here we go. fuck it, who cares? Yeah. <laughs> and gets to see the sweet face two days in a row. What How a lucky. <laughs> We're at Tara's Ratchet Hair Salon, the only hair salon I've ever been to, let's and you be know honest. What? It is the best hair salon of all hair It's Ratchet, but it's, it gets done to prime time. So true. Um, and Tara's gonna just trim up my hair a little bit for me. And hair stylist. Yeah, as always, slightly tipsy, but what are you gonna do? Actually, every single time I've got your hair. It's definitely been tipsy. Yeah. For sure. That sounds about right. Oh, what do you know? Yeah, it's weird. Some of the hairs are like significantly longer, but it's not all just on one side. So weird. Like, this is how long it is in the oh random bit. Oh my god, bits. weird. Like, it's like an inch, right? Yeah, that's so strange. And it's all like in random parts of your head. That's so weird. My hair does not grow in a normal way. No, it doesn't. As not. we know. Okay, so you can see like just random, why isn't it focusing? There it is. Like random bits just hang out longer. <laughs> see over here, like just, it's random, man. I've noticed that too, like as I've let my curly hair grow out, that it's been more random with like strands growing. Yep, looks good. 
Don't you think? Yeah, it's pretty. Looks even on both sides. I mean, this is a little bit longer, but I don't know if you, you want to go shorter. So? That also might just be in mm. my head. Well, yeah, I guess maybe slightly. But like by like half. A yeah, I'm like not that, that worried. Thing. And then how does it look from the back? Does it look okay? Oh yeah, definitely. There's a little straggle over here. Looking we good? Just about there. Beautiful. Oh my god, <laughs> this sweater's just covered in hair. Oh yeah, maybe you should have taken it off. <laughs> so I hope it will. Cute. Cute. There you go. Love it. Another haircut. Here we are. <laughs> Tara just left and I'm feeling a little bit toasty. I have one last drink here for myself. Some seltzer and some coconut juice. And I'm going to do a Q&A. Wish me luck, actually. Yeah, that feels better. So I asked you guys on Instagram for some questions and some of you really went for it. I have to say 50% of these questions were just about me moving to Canada <laughs> because of something that Tara said in her vlog. Thank you, Tara. <laughs> we'll save that for the grand finale. <laughs> Let's start somewhere else. <laughs> will you be moving to a new apartment or you love your place and will stay another year? Ah, I do love my place, but I do think I'm moving when my lease is up, which I'm very sad about, but ah. I don't know. This building, this apartment has so many memories. It just feels like home. This is a very homey space to me and I really designed it that way. I, I chose this apartment and said this is an apartment that I could live in for the next three years and that's what I did. It's so crazy to think about. Uh, I, I'm gonna be really, really sad leaving this place. I've had some amazing memories here. <sighs> but I do think that this is my last couple months living here, if I had to guess. But man, do I love this apartment. <laughs> Someone asked, do you see yourself living in California forever? And I don't know. I like the idea of moving around and trying out other places, but I could definitely see California being my home base, you know? Like, I don't know how it could get better than living here. So I wouldn't stay in LA, but moving somewhere else in Southern California, I think I could stay here forever. What's the most embarrassing thing you've done in front of your crush? I actually have something sort of funny for this. It's not even really something that I did in front of them. Oh God, this is so embarrassing. So in like fifth grade or something like that, I had a really big crush on this boy and oh, my fridge. Anyway, I had a really big crush on this boy and he was in my grade, but not in my class. And his mom was our substitute teacher for like an extended period because our teacher went on maternity leave or something like that. And so she was there and I had a really big crush on her son, but she was my teacher and like knew me very well then. So one time I was with a friend of mine and she convinced me like call his house. Like you should just call his house and ask to speak to him. And I don't know why I did that. That's so crazy, but I did. And his mom like answered and I just said, hi, can I speak to you know, so-and-so please. I don't even remember what happened except that later she told my mom that I was calling her house, which was horrifying. Oh God, what a terrible, terrible time. <laughs> there is no way that makes the video. <laughs> This one's actually sort of funny. <laughs> I'm feeling bold. Have you ever had a one night stand? Mom and dad, get turn the video off now. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I actually really haven't. I have one that I sort of consider a one night stand. This is someone who I went on one mediocre date with and then I hung out with them again and we ended up hooking up, but I, I know that's on a second date, so it's not really one night stand, but I never saw, or you, I don't even know if I spoke to this person again after this time. I have no idea. So I sort of count that, but not really. I, I, I don't really actually have one. <laughs> so I got a couple of these that said, are you and Connor broken up? No, absolutely not. Connor and I are still together. I'm very happy. He's just in Canada visiting his family, but he will be back here in Los Angeles soon and I'm very excited about it. I miss him a lot, but no, we are definitely not broken up. He just is not around right now in Los Angeles. Someone said, do you smoke weed with Tara? What do you not like about being an influencer? God, a million things, I don't know. <laughs> There's so many annoying parts about being an influencer, but actually like definitely the hardest one is scrutiny, like the constant scrutiny where any little thing that you do or say could just be misconstrued into something that you totally did not intend and that can be really stressful. I feel like I haven't had a ton of experience with that only because I'm really, really conscious about it and I really try my best not to do or say anything crazy, but that definitely is the hardest part. Okay, and the last thing we're going to talk about is what 
you know, a large majority of these questions were, which was asking if I would ever consider going to Canada. <laughs> I don't even have an answer to this. Like, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Um, yes, I would definitely consider it. My boyfriend is from there, he has family there, and being there it would be a lot closer to my family. But Toronto's still like a big city, great acting scene, great entertainment scene. And I actually have a lot of connections to Toronto even outside of just Connor and Tara. I know a lot of people throughout the Toronto area. And so I do feel like if I were to move somewhere new, that that would be a very easy transition for me. All that being said, do I currently have a plan to move to Canada? No. Do I even see that in my like three year plan? No, not really. Um, but I, I, could potentially see it later in my life happening. A lot of it is also dependent of what continues to happen here in the United States. As far as the pandemic goes, Canada's doing a lot better than the United States. Obviously our politics are not the best right now, so I'm very curious to see what happens later this year. And all of these things sort of obviously impact my decision and I would definitely go to Canada for an extended period right now. But am I looking to immigrate to Canada right now? Definitely not. <laughs> so I don't know, those are all of my thoughts just word vomited out at you. I hope you enjoyed them. And I think that covers sort of a lot of the areas that people were asking about at least. Obviously most of you were here to hear if I was going here to hear, here to hear if I was gonna move to Canada. <laughs> and I don't know if I answered your question or not. I just need to drink my seltzer and shut up, you know? What am I gonna do for dinner? It's 8.13. Maybe mac and cheese, quick, easy, yummy. Might have to do it, we'll see. <laughs> we have mac and cheese. We have some seltzer. We have Grey's Anatomy. Life is so good, everyone. It's good. <laughs>